Hello everybody, welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV and here is where we left it and look the amount of quests we already have to uh, complete so um, I think that we are going to go down here and see what we can do, shall we? The steps of Thol. Here we are, guys. And uh, right, uh, let's go pick up this quest as well. This is a really, really easy quest, actually. And as always, if you're gonna read, feel free to read because I'm not going to. Okay, so accept. Now you see some coins here on the floor. It's as uh, simple as just pick them up. Okay, and you can right click on them. There we go. Oops, interrupted. Sorry. Okay. And it's pretty, pretty much still the tutorial, you know, how to interact with uh, objects and, you know, all that kind of thing, fighting and uh, conversations, all that kind of thing. And this quest is very, very easy. The only thing you need to do is just pick up this um, gill, as they call it in here, and hand it in to this grumpy lady. So if you want to know why she's grumpy, speak to her. Okay, my girl. So there you go. That's why she's grumpy. And uh, of course, we are going to hand over and hand over. And uh, this appears to be everything. And there you go. Quest completed, guys. Quest completed. Okay. Now, here we have some um, exposed wall. And what you need to do is just right click on it and use these posters. And it's three of them. And you'll see in a second. There we go. Okay. So one of them in there. The other one comes in here, which is quite. Uh, this quest is quite easy as well. The only thing you need to do is just find out where to use them. But that's it, and it's very obvious as well on the walls. If you look on the walls, very obvious where you have to go as well. Okay, and here's the third one. There we go. And that's going to be the last one. And this quest is a holy matrimony. So in case that you didn't know, there you go. That's simple as that. So we need to come. Uh, do we have to come up here or not? Um, I don't think we have to, guys. I think it's down here. I think it's Volcan ask us to do this. So there you go. Let's end in the quest as well. And we are going to get... Uh, Medicine, which restore up to 32% of HP, 160 points maximum. Very, very nice. Thank you very much. And of course, we are going to take the quest as well. Okay. And we are going to start getting some gear and things. And that's going to be really helpful. For our journey here in Final Fantasy XIV. And very, 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 very good game. I really recommend you to play this game. And it's one of those games, guys, that you need to play so slowly, you know. Uh, because... Uh, you really need to get into the uh, mechanics of it and you need to memorize where everything is as well. It's just not uh, the fact that going up and down, killing mobs and that's it. I'm going to discover this uh, shirt as well. There we go. Okay, so that's the gladiators one, which is really, really helpful as well. Because this is another thing, it's just knowing where everything is, where to go and what not to, because it's so huge this place, you know. And sometimes can get really confusing. Where are you going? Where are you not going? And let me discover this one as well, guys. But you get it there, don't you? Uh, you know, it's a, if you never played this game before. You need to get used to going around and, you know, do the things they ask you. All that kind of thing that uh, sometimes can, can be a bit daunting. But there you go. It is what it is, guys. And uh, here we have the kill receptionist. There we go. And I'm going to hand that over. Okay. There we go. Let's go out again. And these first quests, uh, you know, in terms of the beginning of the game, it can be a bit boring to begin with. If you're new to the game, it won't be. Because it, it can be quite fun to look around and check what is there. And, and you know, if you played this, this game before... Uh, you may find it a bit boring to uh, do it for a second time at least, because if you're doing it again, obviously, you have experience from the game, 
you already done it, but uh, it's not so difficult. And this is going to be the minus skill uh, short as well. There we go. So as you can see, as we go in, we are starting to create a network of uh, shards that we can travel uh, from and to, and that is going to be really important for us, guys. And we are going to go uh, to see this guy here. So let's do it, shall we? Let's do that. And it's down here. This is the mine, as you can see here, the little uh, icon in here. Which, of course, we will have to do mining at some stage. Let, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Okay. And complete. And that means that we leveled. Oh, nuts. No, we haven't. But basically, what these quests are showing you is what where everything is in this city. Like uh, all the guilds, and when we say guilds, we talk about the miners' guild and the weavers' guilds and uh, all these things, and fishermen guilds and all that kind of thing that you are going to need if you want to do professions. So that that is why it's so important to you know go around and have a good look. Now, what we have to go next, guys? Ah. This is the weaver skill, you see, and this is what we're going to need, guys, the weavers, because we are going to try to craft our own uh, gear to begin with. Because one thing that this game has is that you don't find gear that easy, you know? You don't have it, but there you go. Another thing that I don't... Uh, I think that they could do better is whenever you discover one of the shards, they should change color at least, because... Uh, if you go playing an hour's time, you come back, you can't remember if you discover this or not. And that is a bit of a pain. I think that the ones I discovered could go in different color just to let you know that has been discovered. And sometimes you see one from the distance and run to it and, you know, already has been discovered and it's a bit of a waste of time, but there you go. So here we are going to take all these uh, quests as well. And we are going to hand this one in. Okay. And we're going to get some lavender as well. Very nice. And if we can level as much as we can before going out there and start killing monsters, because that is coming very soon as well. But, uh, you know, to give you... This is the mode. To uh, give you the idea how this works. So, um, show me warmest welcome. Okay. So, what you need to do, highlight it. Uh, and click uh, slash bar welcome okay there you go and you can see the progression here you welcome Juliana okay so you did it properly okay there we go and of course if you go on emotes you can actually go to social and you see the list of emotes in there as well so um, it's a quest at some stage all in the game that you have to do emotes to everyone every you see Seek out any uh, would-be weavers and give them a warm welcome, okay? So, uh, they have an a icon on their heads, like so, okay? And that's going to be the same. There you go. Okay. And the same for this one. going to be number number two I thought it was a third one oh well number two it is there we go number three and we are going to use this two now and that should complete this quest in particular Number four. Which I can't see the point at this stage about the mods, you know. I know that they are there and, you know, some people love using mods with different players and all that. But I just can't see the point at this early stage just to go around emoting people. I, I don't get it. 
Right, there you go. It is what it is, and we need to get away with it. Okay, so there we go. We need to uh, we talk to him as well. And as you can see, it's a number of quests that we are doing at the same time. So we can actually go a bit quick and get into the gritty gritty of the game. That that is what is the more important thing, okay? Okay, so uh, what we need to do now. Let me check the map, shall we? See where we need to go. Right, it's quite a lot of things that we can do. Uh, we are going to go back to the Weaver skill, I think. Right here, we are right here. That's a little icon, a position. And we are going to go down there again. And hand that quest in. And I think that we will leave it there, guys. Yeah, I think that we're going to leave it there. And on the next episode, we will uh, carry on doing a tiny bit more of all these quests inside this town. And that, well, basically, it's just going around uh, this city and, and, you know, knowing what you have to do and what not. And, of course, you can jump with a space bar. And I'm going to complete that one. There we go. And we got an achievement. Hey, congratulations, you have just received your first achievement. Achievements are earned by reaching certain milestones during your adventures in Eosea. And they are achievements for just about everything. And that's true. This can have so many uh, achievements. It's unbelievable, okay? So, there you go. We hand that one in. And uh, what else we need to do very quick? Uh, find the most popular color on the hosting strip. Okay, six of those. I'm wondering if we could really quick uh, do that one as well. Uh, okay, this is hunting strips in here. And this is the people that we need to talk to. Shall we do it quick, guys? Let's go try to do it quick. Come on, let's do it. Sprint. And see if we can use... You see, this is another thing that I don't agree with. It should let you know where in the map these things are because you, can, you can't physically memorize everything. I don't know what Goldsmith Guild is in relation to the map, if you know what I mean. The only thing I can do is just open the map when that is open. By the way, all these maps and windows are windows, so you can actually drag them and move them around as you wish, okay? And I think they should tell you straight away here or, or pop up in the map, whatever. Some type of indication where you need to go. Uh, gladiator skill, let's do that. Okay, well, here we are. I need to go up here. Do we have to go up here? Where are they? See, this is why it's a bit confusing in this game. Right, let's go around. Looks like as if it's going to be up here somewhere. And if it isn't, at least we can actually uh, discover any more shards on the network. Like that one at the end, that would be interesting to have. But uh, here's one of them. Okay, there's one of them. Ah, oh, there's another one inside here somewhere. Let's go to number two, hopefully. Yes, number two. Okay. And uh, you can carry on going around. Do we have to? Let me see. Let me... Yeah, it's another one right at the end. And we need to do it, so we need to get on with it. Let me sprint again. You can either click your icon or press number one. Uh, whatever the icon is related to the number, that is what you need to do. Click the number to activate the spell, of course. Okay. That one is done. I'm going to discover this uh, shirt as well. Awesome. And is a quest in here that we need to take as well. And this is the Alchemist Guild, and this is awesome. I love this place, so it's so cool. As you can see, these old machines and are oh, really, really cool. You see all these things in here, they're really cool, I think. Right, let's accept this one as well, whatever it is. And we deal with that as we uh, confront the quest in terms of, you know, checking in here what we need to do. Okay, I think that's the most sensible thing to do, because if you read everything, yeah, give an idea or we'll tell you what to do. 
but it just gets so long to read all of it because the conversations in this game are huge as well guys it's just not a couple of uh, sentences they they go forever talking and uh, you know if you are playing offline your own on your own time that's fair enough but doing a video it will drag forever just to do a couple of quests so we're carrying with this quest we need to go left here and there's another shot that i would like to take right here There we go. And this is going to be the fourth. And the sixth should be right here. There we go, guys. The other moon. And there you are, we are sorted guys, let's hunt them in real fast. Now, this is where it could be uh, interesting because uh, we need to go to the Merchant Street, where is that? And that's going to be... Hmm, I don't think they have discovered that yet. No, I don't think I have. Shafia, let's see, let's see quick. Have we discovered that? That will be interesting to see. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. So, which is the closest to that then? Uh, the weavers, okay, let's go to the weavers. And that's right there. Okay, guys. Where is. Oh, right, right ahead, so let's go. And that's pretty much it. It's just showing you where to go and where the guilds are and, you know, really important uh, points of interest that you're going to need along the way. And that's the tutorial, basically, okay? Let's hand the medicine there. Hand over. And, oh yes. Oh, these shards are going to be so important, guys. There we go. And let's take this quest as well. Okay, and that is pretty much it, guys. And uh, is someone, something else to hand in here? Come on, let's do it very quick. By the way, this is like an auction house, guys. I will show you how that works. Awesome. And this little bell is awesome as well. You can actually summon helpers to help you. And they're quite sexy and gorgeous. So I will show you how to do all that. Okay. Let's hand over that as well. So it's another quest out of the way. There we go, and that's it guys, I'm going to leave it here, uh, please comment, subscribe and like if you enjoyed this uh, game. Not the gameplay, because it's a bit boring, but the game is awesome, you need to admit that. So as I said, please comment, subscribe and like, and I hope to see you in the next episode, until then, take great care.